Good evening and welcome everybody to another special series of TJB. Today we want to visit the TJB standalone. Music is from Gnosis. This is the last thing you remembered before you woke up. Currently, we are on the TJB classroom um, in Imprudence with shadows enabled. So, if you, you can see as you zoom in closer, there are shadows underneath the boards. I'm using this classroom for classes on various subjects. Switching over, this is the same region in Kirsten's view, also shadows enabled. You can see the shadows are a bit more clear and um, they disappear when you zoom out far. Also, the shadow of the avatar is much better than in Imprudence. Um, still, Kirsten's has some issues with OpenSim. It seems it only works with OpenSim 0.7. All right, in all other versions you can't teleport. Speaking of teleport, let's go to the path. The path is my attempt at making a tutorial region for new users um, to show them the different ways of how to interact with the world and what to do to make your avatar move. Um, it's, I'm using a lot of linden trees for this one which looks great when you have shadows enabled because then you see all the shadows of the trees on the ground it looks very very good it starts with this door which you click and every object you click uh, will give you a note card telling you a little bit about um, how to use different um, the, the interface or the, the controls for the viewer You might also notice that the default walk in Kirsten's viewer is very, it's, it's much slower, so that kind of got rid of the duck walking animation to some extent. As you walk the path, you will encounter several objects, all of them you can click and receive a note card that explains a little bit more about the world. And if you stray from the path, you can find um, some advanced tutorials about more advanced uses. For example, this uh, class will give you some tutorial about how to use Zoom. It seems the shine is a bit different in person's viewer than it is in the regular viewer. Um, in uh, Imprudence, this looks a lot more shiny. In Kirsten's, it, is, it looks like plastic. Um, It seems there is no option to change the shine back to the legacy shine. This seems to be a feature of, of Viewer 2 actually, I'm not sure about that. The path is quite long and I, on, I only started it, so um, I'm when I have the time, I will add a few more um, stations to it. And when it is somewhat finished, um, it's going to be available as a download on the TGIB website. It will end at this little bridge thing here, which enables um, grid you grid owners or grid providers to give them some kind of teleport to their welcome area at the end if they wish to include it into their grid. Let's go to the Palm House. The Palm House is another new region on the TGIB standalone which features um, my more, one of my more um, large builds, the palm house, with some objects in it that allow you to dance and sit and have good have a good time there. It's made as a or designed as to be a gathering place for people.
As you can see again here, the shadows are coming in quite nicely. Um, being on a Mac, I, I have a few problems with shadows, so I had to run this under Bootcamp, which is um, the Mac, uh, the ability of a Mac to run Windows. So all this is in Windows XP on a Mac Pro. Shadows in Mac OS um, do not work for some strange reason, even though I'm running the same hardware. It's, it's got to be some kind of issue with the ATI drivers or their um, lack thereof. Let's switch back to Imprudence and have a look at how this region looks in Imprudence. You can see that the, the ground texture, um, the transparent glass ground, disappears from time to time. But this sculpt uh, has raised, which it didn't in Kirsten's. And here's the light falling through the windows up there, it's really nice. Overall, there is no viewer that does not have some kind of issues in one way or another when running at a very high hardware setting because it seems shadows have never been really fully implemented by Linden Labs. It's just an experimental feature. And you might have better luck with an NVIDIA graphics card on a Mac. Um, my partner L has a, a Mac Pro, MacBook Pro with an NVIDIA card which um, enables you to run shadows in Mac OS. Um, but it runs very slow. I mean, you couldn't record it as smooth as this now. This is one of my sculptures, I like to call them. And this is how the palm horse looks um, from the outside. Thank you for listening to TGIB.com.